are making good progress with the saga. Lately, we've been working on the yearlings. Here we have a mixed age pack, some new pups of the year, a couple yearlings, Musty and Roy, one three-year-old subordinate, Tessu, and my mate, Lassie and me. This is a save from Tommy as he develops and tests and tweaks the saga. So we have a nice assortment of Finnish names for our pups and pack mates. Everybody here likes playing with the pups. And the yearlings still like playing with each other and with the adults. They're only 13 months old here, so still very puppyish, even though they are physically approaching adult wolf size. So I know there are a lot of questions about yearlings, like uh, once you've got a pack like this, how do you tell them what to do? Well, the short answer is you don't. Just as with your mate, you can go up to any of them and whine to invite them to hunt but they have minds of their own, their own personalities, as well as other factors that affect their decisions. Typically, females are more likely to stay at the home site when there are young pups, and males are more likely to go hunting, though certainly they can prefer the other as well, individually. Pack mates are more likely to stick with their best friend using the fondness feature I mentioned uh, a couple of devlogs ago. And here you can see that they're whining to invite me to go hunting. They're like, come on, let's go, let's go. And then they're like, like we're heading off, come along if you want. So there they go and I can decide if I wanna run off and join them or stay back at the den with the pups. And oh, here's Tessu, she's actually a three-year-old subordinate but she'll stay back at the den and uh, I can go hunting. Anybody can go in the den but females are far more likely to do that. So age also affects the decision to go hunting. Yearlings are more likely to stay with the pups because they are not great at hunting. In this case, they decided to head off because Tessa was staying back at the den. So these are preferences, these are inclinations, but each wolf makes its own choice in the context of the moment. So this is uh, kind of fun, running with the pack with my mate and two yearlings. As I said, yearlings are not great at hunting. They are nearly full size and height and length, but they're still a bit lightweight. They lack the strength and the skill of a two-year-old or three-year-old wolf who are kind of at their peak physically as hunters. And as you can see here, sometimes they get distracted and stop or wander off or something something for a little while before catching up with the group again. So don't expect to be able to sit back and make all your pack mates do all the work. In fact, marking territory is generally the job of the pack leaders. They're the only ones who do the raised leg urination. Everybody else can pee and howl, of course, which, you know, helps a bit with territory, but territory is the leader's job. So then you might ask, can we get some other adult wolves to join our pack and I can delegate some work to them? Sorry, no. Well, that occasionally does happen. It's usually when the pack needs a new breeder. Again, packs are families, even extended families, and not an aggregation of unrelated wolves. All right, found the elk herd here, and the yearlings are, are helpful, you know. Well, we found a low health spike elk here, and uh, definitely nice to have a couple more wolves to bring it down. Oh, but uh, the way to expand your pack is by having pups and playing through the years. A good percentage of pups won't survive to become yearlings, but still, it only takes a few years to get a multi-generational pack. In Yellowstone, packs tend to have 6 to 12 wolves. Sometimes they get bigger, though famous examples like the Druid pack hitting 37 wolves was a quirk from wolf reintroduction before wolf and elk populations stabilized. And in the game, we will have a cap on pack size. It just gets awkward to have so many NPC wolves moving around, especially around the home site in your pack along with the performance impacts of having that many NPC AIs running at full bore. So we've all filled up, heading back to feed some hungry pups. And one thing we've been focusing on is balancing the difficulty here. Some players, I think, are expecting that once they get a, a decent sized pack, they can A, lay back and let everybody else do the work, but also dominate the map. You definitely you know, get a boost of help with your yearlings and, and subordinates, but not to the extent that you know, you're living on easy street. For example, yearlings can eat extra food to come back and regurgitate, but they're still young, they're still pretty lean, and they need uh, most of that food. And so they can regurgitate, but they have a, a smaller capacity of regurgitant stuck in their gullet to regurgitate. So they'll help out, but it's not like having, you know, five mates with that capacity to feed the pups. So things are really coming along great, I think. Still a lot of work left to do. The saga release is not imminent, but we are plugging along and we're gonna get there. Mm -hmm.